with the psycho vows, do you feel that um, if I was to take it, or and just say if they was to find me incompetent, just say that, if they was to find me incompetent because they're saying that I have a, might have a mental illness and all this whole other stuff. Um, did you ask? Did you ask him if competency is whether you can stand and understand legalese, or is competency because you think I just don't have, I have a brain? You know, I have no. You know, I have. You know, I'm, re, I'm mentally retarded. Did, did you ask him what the competency test was? You just got to ask him. Just send him a letter. Say, hey, I hear you want me to take a psych eval. Is this psych eval because you believe I'm incompetent to answer questions in court? Or you you believe I'm in you know, psychoval is because I'm uh, delusional or psychotic or you know schizophrenic? You know what what do you people you know what you can, what are you what seems to be your concerns about my mental state? What 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 concerns of it is yours of how my competency? You know, just ask them. What is this? What's the psychoval? Why are you trying? What are you trying to derive? What kind of information are you trying to get out of me taking a psychoval? Just ask them the question. Right, so yeah, what I was gonna say was, um, uh, yeah. So would that stop me from moving a claim? No, you just asked. You sent him a letter. Said, what would be the benefit for me to take a psych eval? What, how would it benefit me? How would it benefit the court? What are you people trying to gather? What inf- kind of information are you trying to gather by ordering me to do a psych eval? You know, I'd love to take one, but tell me what's the benefit for either me or for you? Okay. All right. All right. Let me right, see but, if. Uh, right. What I'm saying, though, when, if if it came down to it, should I take it or not? It, and it's totally up to you if you believe it's a benefit. And you ask them, say, is this an order? And if this is an order, am I going to be compensated for carrying out this order of the court? Just like say, if the court ordered you to pick up 73 fried chickens on the way to the court, say, lovely, I'll pick up 73 fried chickens. But how is that a benefit to me? Is anybody going to pay for this order? Right. It's that simple, Dan. Right. So if they're going to pay for it <laughs> already, yeah. but I know I know they're not, though. Well, then it's like you say. Well, if I, if you order me to do something, isn't any man? If if an, if a man orders another man to do something, am I not worthy of compensation for work performed or service provided? All right. So I just I just write a letter, hand letter, like you said, just write it to the DM, yeah. Correct. All right. Just, just an example. Like I said, everybody here. Somebody says to me, "These people are crazy." Some, this guy, this one guy who uh, has me, uh, who's who's helped me come over here like that, not financially, but just by motivating people to get into what I'm doing. He's actually taking money for people to do work for this. I said, "Wait a second. You want me to provide a service and a product? You realize you realize you just took money from this lady. You realize you just took money from this man." Do you realize you just took money from this man? Do you realize you just took money from this woman? Now you have to provide a service. Now you have to you, know, you have to perform a service and provide a product. I said, do you realize this could blow up in your face because I don't know UK civil law yet well enough to actually make the documents look parallel to theirs. I said, so you realize if it blows up, do you realize you just accepted uh, money to provide a uh, product or perform a service in which I don't know if I could deliver? I said, buddy, you got, you know, brass, you know, cojones, man, to fucking to do something like this. I said, that's why you have people donate to you. I said, because so you donate to the church and uh, you pray to God for us, you know, whatever. And uh, and and the, and the donation, you know, what's going to happen? You pray to God and it doesn't come true. What are you going to do? Go back to the church and say, hey, I gave you 50 bucks, 100 bucks. You know, give me back my money. God didn't answer my prayer. You know, so I said to him, you got to be very careful. This is not very business oriented, this guy. I said, you got to be very careful, you know, that you're promising people to something that I might not be able to deliver. I said, in the States, I'm damn good at what I do. But here in the UK, I don't know how they're going to receive this. He says, oh, don't worry. He says, I already had eight orders, da 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 done, and, and, and they never answered back, and that part is done, and everything's working out. I said, dude, just, <laughs> you got to be careful. 